What I realized after a couple of years being locked up, that prison really saved my life. My name is Chef Jeff Henderson. I reside here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today on the menu, a croque monsieur. Doing a California style, I'm using Dave's Killer Bread, plain awesome bagels. I went to prison when I was 23. I'm a former drug dealer. My rise to chefdom uh, is not traditional as most chefs. I learned to cook in the darkest place on earth, prison. I never loved to cook. I never sought to be a chef. Food found me. And I realized uh, once I got into the prison kitchen that I love to cook. I love working with ingredients. I learn fast. And eventually I became the head inmate cook and baker in two different federal institutions. What I'm cooking today is a classic French breakfast sandwich. It was inspired a little bit from my days working at the Hotel Bel Air. They call this dish a croque monsieur. I'm making a white sauce, a classic French white sauce. I'm gonna add butter, I'm gonna add some shallot, I'm gonna caramelize those shallots, sweat them out a little bit to release that great flavor. I have this piece of Parmesan cheese and I put it inside of this little smoking box that I have. I add a little bit of mesquite wood chips and smoke this cheese for about a good five minutes. I just love Dave's Killer Bread, plain awesome bagels. They're chewy, great texture. Once they get toasty, I bring them out and I begin to build the sandwich. Hit it with a little more smoked Parmesan and I just let it melt. Bring it out. Fry up that egg sunny side up. Drape it right there on the top. And here is the avocado. You got the gooeyness from the cheese and the yolk on that smoked turkey. My whole success story was built on second chances. When a chef who I read about in the USA Today, Robert Gatsby, gave me that second chance to become the best version of myself in the culinary world. So I'm a testament, a walking living example, along with the other folks. Judge us not by our past, but judge us on what we bring to the table today. Leading by example is, is important to me. My role in culinary arts these days is working with formerly incarcerated people who have a love of cooking, whether they're in the prison system or returning citizens. So it's important to walk my talk. It's important to be that example to my children and other people in the community. And that is never too late. That until you take your last breath is never too late. And every day that you're breathing, you can have a second chance.